to, I grew up in England. Okay. I was actually born in Manchester, as you can tell from the accent. Uh, it's me an and amazing Morrissey. British accent, yes, by the way. <laughs> My wife can actually do a better British accent than I can <laughs> at this point. Um, Where was she raised? Uh, Ellsworth, Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I started gaming, uh, in school in England where everybody okay. was playing with these little, uh, 20 millimeter plastic airfix world war two figures. Okay. Uh, desert rats versus the desert Fox. Um, right. It does sound like you were raised in the fifties yeah. and yet it <laughs> this wasn't, is the, this, is the, this, this is was the, in the late seventies. Late seventies. Yes. <laughs> yes. Very late seventies. <laughs> right, right. Please, please. <laughs> and, but it, it does. But, but I always think of England as the, as the early fifties always, you know, them just reeling from beating Hitler. And, and since Brexit, it probably will be. And so. with Trump, they'll get to fight Hitler again. <laughs> it's going to be great. Uh, let's talk more gaming. Exactly. <laughs> no kidding. Um, so yeah, I, I started, uh, and in England at the time, in Britain, yep. you had rules you could buy for these little figures, which okay. I'd never seen before. So you could go to a shop on the main street, uh, high street, and there would be a set of rules published for playing World War II miniature war games with plastic tanks and plastic figures. What? And I thought this was incredible. It just blew my mind. It's still incredible. Yeah. Was it? Did it have a name? What was the name of this uh, game? Just, just uh, this particular game. I'm trying to remember the name. It wasn't right, right. a particularly good set of rules. I found better ones very soon afterwards. Okay. Um, I can. I but can... so the people who made the act, the 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 little hero clicks things didn't make, and that's not what they no, are. No, obviously. no, no. These are just little plastic um, well, army models. guys. Right? Yeah, army guys. Yeah. Uh, they were tiny, like 20 millimeter. Means about. I'm, I'm like making an like inch. Like an inch. Yeah, like uh, inch high. Jack here, like old which, timey uh, green yeah. army guys, right? Yes. Yeah. And then you would buy tanks. And if you were a kid in Britain at the time, you'd just, you know, an Airfix tank and you would glue these together and paint them. And these rules were made by a different company and they just let you play with these. And a lot of different oh, companies weird. made rules like this. Right. They're so, like, no, play my rules. Yes. Very. It's, a, it's essentially, g gamers have always grown up and been mocked yes. for saying, no, play my game. And only, <laughs> only in the last 15 years has everyone just embraced it and go, no, no, we still want to play games. I don't care if I'm 40. Leave yeah, me alone. I know. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so... From there, I discovered board games, and these were like very complicated historical board games uh, published by a company, an American company called SPI. Um, wow. And I found these at a model shop, and all of a sudden, there are these little uh, cardboard counters you could punch out, fun, 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 and <laughs> uh, put on these hex grids, and some of them... <laughs> Uh, oh my represented... God, you sound like Andy. <laughs> like you get to punch out a lot of different things. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, this is our life. Yes, um, yes. And, and thank you for understanding. You're in a us. safe space. Uh, the safest of all spaces. <laughs>